Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem twenty-eight in chapter twelve. Chapter twelve is about the static balanced. If we want to make sure one object is static balanced, it must satisfy two requirements. First one, net force is zero. Second one, net torque is zero. Right? Now we look at this system. We can see we have a lander, and then it has two sides. This point we consider it's a hinge, it's a rotation axis, right? And then the length is given, and then at is is a length is given two point five meter, and at this position, a person stand at this position, and this person is the mass is given, so this is all the quantity is given, and this person just zero point eight times L. From the ground, right? So this length is given. Now we need to draw a picture to show the force act on this system, and we find there is also tension, uh, in the horizontal tie the road. So this is one FT FT. So we look at the left hand side. First one, we have the normal force from the left to support it, right? And second one, this one tell us it has a tension. To tie the road, so this one F T horizontal from there they tell us at the halfway at the middle. The next one is we have the gravity from the person there, and then this part we have the hinge, and this force act on the hinge. We don't know what direction it is, so we can do the project right project in x component, y component. So we have F hinge horizontal, F hinge vertical. Now we look at the right hand side. We can see we have the normal force, the right normal force to support this cylinder, and then we have the tension to tie this cylinder F T. And also there is a force on the hinge, F hinge vertical and F hinge horizontal, and it tell us ignore the mass of the cylinder, so we don't consider. The mass of the cylinder and also the friction force because the ground is frictionless. Now we look at the first problem. First problem, we need to determine the tension in horizontal. So that means we need to find F T, right? Now how can we do that? <laughs> It looks like the most important quantity we need to find is angle theta. Do you agree? Because we need to project the forces in x component, y component, something. So we do some preparation there. And as for the cosine theta, we can see this is L, and this side is L cosine theta. Its length is just a half of the d. So in this one, we can see L cosine theta equal to half of the d. So now we find <laughs> theta. His arc cosine half of d divided by L. And then we input the quantities. Get the answer there. Good. The next one we look at the vertical force should be balanced zero, right? So we can say what is zero the vertical force. So we from left hand side we have the F normal force left. It's up, and the minus gravity is down, and the plus F hinge vertical it's up. This one, F hinge vertical, is down. So minus it and the plus F n right, right. So we write this equation very straightforward. The force is balanced vertically, and this one and this this term and this term can be cancelled. So finally, we get this term, this equation, and we keep it there. This is the second requirement. The force need to be the torque need to be balanced. So we consider the left hand side, this one. This is as the rotation axis, right? Now we look at the force acting. First one, this one will not bring the torque because it cross the rotation axis. This one will not bring the torque. So the force brings torque just F n left left, F t and.、Uh, Gravity, right? So first one we look at F n left. So for F n lost, the perpendicular distance from the force to the rotation axis is just L cosine theta. Do you agree? From this point to this line to this point, perpendicular distance L cosine theta. Now we look at the gravity. 
the gravity from the gravity this force to the perpendicular distance is this one. This is 0.2 L cosine theta, <coughs> right? Now we look at the FT. FT is the distance from the force to the rotation axis, this side. This side is half of the L sine theta, right? Because this is half of the L, this is still theta. Now we write this equation there. Now we look at the right hand side, still we consider this as the rotation axis. So this force don't bring the torque, this force don't bring the torque because they cross this uh, rotation axis. Now we look at the Fn right side, so the perpendicular distance is half as d, we say it is just equal to L cosine theta. So we write it there, use our right hand rule determine it is uh, a direction is negative, right? Now we look at the Ft. For Ft, the perpendicular distance from this one to there is this one. It's uh, this side. This side is a half of L sine theta. Now we write this uh, net torque equal to zero for left side and right hand side, right? For these two equations, we use this equation. First one minus this one, we can get this equation. Now you will find something very interesting. This term. So this term just equal to mg. Agree? So we put input is mg inside the function can be the equation can be simplified as this one, and solve the function for ft. We get is a it looks like this one. Input is a known quantities. We get the answer for ft. <coughs> the second part we can see is we need to determine the Fn left and Fn right. So this one we need to find. This one we need to find. So in this one, how can we do that? We can see what we just solved. In this one, you can see we just give Ft. If we input Ft inside in this equation, in this equation, can we find Fn left? Sure, because if we input Ft, this one is get, right? After we get Fn left, the most easy way is it comes to there, we can get Fn right. So this one, first one, we copy this equation. We copy this equation at this part, and Ft is get, so we get Fn right. And then this Fn left plus Fn right equal to gravity. And then input is Fn right, we get Fn left. The third part is to determine the force uh, act on the hinge, so that means we need to find the F hinge vertical and F hinge horizontal, right? So we look at look at the right hand side of this cylinder. So first one vertically, the force is balanced. So we can see we have this up vertically up F N right, and this is vertically down F hinge vertical. So it is balanced equal to zero. In this way, we find F hinge vertical up, this one. And then we look at the horizontal. So horizontal, we have two forces, F hinge horizontal and Ft, right? So we write the equation, apply Newton's second law, the force is balanced. Then we can find the force for F hinge horizontal. Now you can see for this F hinge force, we have X component and Y component. So very easily, we can find its magnitude and angle. Thank you.